people hear things about women vis-a-vis -vis Kabbalah and they are really turned off. Okay, and I'll tell you two things. Mm -hmm. But those two things become the conduit for transformation, where women are the ultimate catalysts of change. Um, so one, for example, is that when we look at the primary emotions, there's chesed, as I said, loving kindness and gavura, severity. Women are associated with gavura. They are associated with the left side of the tree of life. And people don't like that. They're like, oh, I like the right side, especially in America. You know, Americans are very right side people. In, in general, the West uh, is, you know, chesed, loving kindness, abundance, freedom to the people. We don't like this idea of all fear, boundaries, limitations. So it's like, oh, the woman has a bad rap because of two primary things. One of which is that she's associated with severity or the left side of the tree of life and men are associated with chesed or the right side of the tree of life. And our culture is very into right side. We don't like the left side, unfortunately. We'd be way better off if we could embrace it a little bit more. So women being associated with that have a bad rap, but the truth is, is that that becomes the catalyst for change. And not only that, it describes what our ultimate purpose is. One way of talking about why we're here is called hamtakata gvorot, the sweetening of the severities. Life is about, there are five supernal severities, the source of all of our suffering in life. And are there many mystical ways of explaining this, but let's make it real. It means anything I encounter in my life can be rooted in five challenges that I have to fix. And who better to work that out than the woman? I see many times, you know, people say, oh, a woman is loving kindness, you know, look how kind she is. You, one of the most dangerous places to be in nature is between a mother bear and her cub or a mother lion and the cub, right? You don't want to be there because the female is gavura, is severity. And it's through that, think of it like my muscles. You know, people are into Pilates today. The Kabbalah of Pilates is if you don't have those spiritual muscles around you, everything falls apart. In Eshet Chayil, the song of the woman on Friday night, one of the lines is, she girds her hips with strength. I mean, she's got a belt on, but it also means she goes, she works out, got tight pelvic floor muscles. Spiritually, what it's talking about is she keeps to the law, halacha. The law are the muscles that hold the hips in place. The hips are faith, the muscles are that strength that we're connected with that holds it together, keeping the law. So women are very gifted in setting boundaries to the point that we're told she's akeret habayit, the foundation of the home. And the word akeret habayit is both ikar and oker. She's the mainstay, the central pillar, or the uprooter. La akor is to uproot a tree. So she's so pivotal in that role that she will ground you or she will uproot you. Now the other bad rap that women get is that she's associated with Malchut. Malchut is dominion, the last of the mystical spheres. So everyone says, man, you know, like the guy gets to be all the other stuff and then look at who she is. Malchut is the moment of birth. You see the highest sphere is called Keter, the crown. The bottom of the body is associated with Yesod foundation, right? Those are the reproductive organs. Malchut is the head of the baby that is being born. And that's why you say the head is crowning, because it's the crown is coming out at the bottom. It is a very powerful place. And in the work that I do, what I see, everyone is resistant to Malchut, which is the surrender of the ego. And they don't know that it is in that surrender that we become free and gain access to truly living. As long as you stay in the upper part of the tree, you're living by force of your own will. Malchut, the woman, says there's nothing other than God. She's like the earth. 
So you can step on the earth and you can dig in the earth, but wow, everything comes from the earth because of that. Malchut, the female, is the one who teaches humanity what it means to set our ego and our agenda aside and live life on God's terms. That takes us into the redemption.